Rome is a seductive city. You're going to want to sit down and eat and drink and enjoy the amazing view that you're going to see every single day. The fountains are absolutely gorgeous. This is Piazza Navona. This is not a town to be on a diet. <laughs> oh my god, the food is amazing. Everything is delicious. All you want to do is eat. So go ahead, within reason. Um, I'm going to go on a 10 mile walk today so I can <laughs> work off that porchetta pork sandwich huge and uh, cacio de pepe, which is spaghetti with pepper and parmesan and olive oil butter oh my god that was dinner last night at 11 but hey you gotta eat here it's just incredible and drink wine wow so tips are go see the fountains and walk around a lot so then you can have gelato every day I haven't had gelato in two days <laughs> so I got to catch up so this is espresso and chocolate mmm mmm I was gonna get pistachio but I always get that yum Gunther gelato Rome yum <laughs> And the reward is a delicious meal made with fresh ingredients that you can find in every neighborhood. And each one has its own distinct flair of architecture and trees and different shops. And then there's the stunning Tiber River. I'm eating way too much bread. Oh my God. <laughs> and now I'm going home for some cheese and Prosecco. I love having my own apartment. Yum, and there you have a very low-kale meal. <laughs> and this is the street where I live. It's filled with these great restaurants and friendly people. If you ever want any excitement, you just go outside and walk around Rome. You'll find something engaging. The Trevi Fountain, oh my goodness. This is uh, Bernini, I believe. I could have gotten that wrong. But look at this marble. And then I got my hair cut. Marina did an amazing job and it really made me feel like I was a local. We had a blast. She was an expert Aveda Rome. Oh, and there's touts all over the place telling you you need a ticket to get into St. Peter's. You don't. So you just keep walking right on by. And I have my ticket free <coughs> for the papal audience on Wednesday. Yay, I'm going to get to see the Pope. And I got some advice. You get a seat. You got to get here at 7 to get a good seat in the middle of the aisle because he likes to go down the middle. And then uh, the guard said to hang out near a kid because the Pope likes to stop and bless children. So I'll get a, a neighboring blessing maybe <laughs> by being next to the child. So tips from Rome, direct from St. Peter's Basilica.
the coolest pope ever. And here's his home. St. Peter's is an incredible architectural wonder. And it has the Pieta in it. And right next door is the Sistine Chapel, which you cannot miss. And here's the view from the top of the cupola. It does take 500 steps to get there. So, hey, come and join me. Learn photography. Link below. Ciao.